here you are. You're all clean now. You're very clean. Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how I blow dry a poodle. This is the toy poodle. Now she got a bath already and she's been towel dried and she's ready to be dried. So I'm going to use my high velocity dryer. Um, it's a variable speed. I'm going to put it on low um, to dry her and I'll show you how I get it drowned. It'll probably take about maybe 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops depending on how fast your ears dry. So I will uh, show you how I do that. Okay, so my dryer, I take the nozzle off. I don't use any special dryer because it's too too strong, especially on these little dogs. Um, I like to make it as much uh, comfortable for them as possible and not so scary. But this dog's been groomed every three to four weeks all her life and, and she's used to um, the drying. So I'm just going to turn it on low and I will start. Come here, sweetie. I usually start at the back or, or the side. I do the body first. I go down the legs and then the head and the ears are last. So let's get started. What I want to say is I have it on low speed and I'm putting the flat end of the dryer actually right against your skin. I'm, I'm actually touching the skin going back and forth and with the air coming out it actually kind of lifts it up a bit from the skin so you're going you know, as close as you can because you want to straighten out the hair since it's curly hair and that's the, the purpose of blow drying a poodle, poodle is to straighten their hair. So I, I sometimes you know use these quick um, movements or you can go very slow and just do one area at a time and you know sometimes going slower ends up being faster because sometimes I kind of go you know all over and then come back to it but if you do one spot at a time it'll it'll still be the same it'll, it'll look the same at the end it's just how you want to do it so there's no you know no wrong way no right way it's the same same way but you can do it either way you can go slow start in one area or you can kind of go over the dog once you know if you see an area really drying out you want to get to it because if it dries out it won't really straighten out and um, so I'm going to show you how I do that so it goes Now when you're drying, you want to make sure it's dried um, thoroughly, right to the skin. Sometimes it looks dry, but it's not really. 
and you want to make sure the hair is all straightened out like you know you see this part here you know it looks dry but it's not it's very kinky so you could dry it till it gets really really straight and once I'm finished the whole dog I go over them again and they look really nice and um, dry and plush and then you, you comb them and brush them
here. I did most of her body. I just got to do up the neck here and the head and ears. <clears throat> now some little dogs don't, um, you know, like the velocity in her head, so you can use a stand dryer or a hands-free dryer. That way, um, you know, it's it's a little bit quieter and you can brush at the same time. So I'm just going to do her head on really low, and she's used to it, so um, she's not a problem. I'll show you. Come here. thumb on top, my other fingers underneath, I'm just holding her lightly. I don't know, sometimes they fight. She does have a little growth in the middle of her head, so I have to uh, be careful not to nick it. That's why she's putting her foot up like that. But believe me, she, she's used to it. She just doesn't like me holding her nose, but I have to hold it still. Otherwise, I can't do it. I don't hold it still. gonna lay down for her head. Most dogs do. They want to lay down when you do the head. Her ears are a little bit knotted, so it won't come out nice and smooth. It'll be smooth once I brush it. Okay, so she's pretty much dry all over, and I like to go over just one more time. I see a few areas here. Now some hair will look curly because it's tight or it's it's matted or it's just 
you know, hasn't been brushed in a while. But majority of it will look fluffy. So I'm just gonna go over her one more time quickly to make sure I didn't miss any areas. There we go. Alrighty, so that's how she's pretty dry. So my next steps would be to brush her out. She's got some matting in her ears. That's why they don't look so so good. I have to brush them and comb them and she'll look all fluffy. Um, so hope that helped. If you got any questions, just ask down below in the comment section. And um, I'll be happy to answer. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already for more grooming videos. So thank you very much for watching.